Hi guys and thank you for coming to Lydia Joseph Dialogues. My name is Lydia Joseph. This is my hair and if you haven't watched a video that I posted a month ago about how I repaired my edges because they were destroyed and how I was able to thicken my fro, then check it out. I'm going to put that link on the description box. Thank you guys for your continued support. You guys have been watching my videos. The channel is not that new. We are now starting the third month. It's been two months of your continued support and may God bless you. Today I have a very exciting video about ideas that we can do with our kids now that they are going to be at home for two months. I came across a certain post and a parent was complaining and asking what we are going to do with the kids now that they are going to be with us for that long. And I was like, it is not always a very good thing when their kids are always with the teachers or they are with our house helps. Sometimes it's good to spend time with them. And I want to say that the children are those and values that time that they spend with a parent. My dad used to take me to places like deep in the forest and we could go and learn about tree species and we used to carry binoculars and we could go and watch birds. He, we would learn how they behave and we used to go and just pick flowers and smell them and I remember those times up to date. We can also try to make our children have some childhood memories that have parents in them. You know, when you look back, you say that I can remember my mom when we went to this and this place. Or I can remember when my dad took me to this forest. So instead of feeling bad and asking questions, why don't we embrace this period and create amazing memories with them? Uh, my son is nine years old and he is my friend. We do so many things together. And I thought maybe I could share some of those exciting fun activities that we do together and maybe you can also try them and they can help you. You can help your children to create some DIY, do it yourself. And the good thing about DIY projects for the kids is that in our Kenyan education system today, we have, they, they launched the CBD and most of the things that they are required to do are DIY. So I think DIY are, are very good things to do this holiday. And one of them is painting. You don't even need to have a big space. You don't need to have some special room to do painting. You can just decide to do it in your sitting room like we did with my son here. You can also buy beads and you can give them to make some necklaces for you or for grandma. That one is an activity that is so fun to do and to make the kids really happy. And once the project are done, the children are fulfilled. Somehow it's also boost their esteem. You can decide to look for some money and go and to an outdoor activity. I would say that when you are working on a budget, you can decide to just go to swimming. In most swimming pool, you just have to pay some amount in the morning. And you can go there and you can swim with your child or you can decide to just watch him swim and that's a very nice low budget activity that you guys can do with your kids this holiday when you feel that you have extra money to spend on your kids you're not losing the money whatever you do for your kids it's not losing so you can decide to go to a kids amusement park there's so many malls that have those kids activity where you go and buy a card and then you go around playing those games hapo inamezanga pesa na kuambia inamezanga pesa so you need to be really prepared and the reason why i'm saying that you need to be prepared is because you're going to go there and you have discussed that you're going to take this and this and this but when you get there they want to play everything they get confused. They want to go there and ride that car. car. They want to go to the merry-go-round. They want to be at the bouncing castle. They want to be. Able. There are other places that you can be able to go and 
access kids activity without necessarily paying a card to swipe the one for the cards is very expensive and usually all those activities are in one place and it is very easy for children to see all of them and want all of them but you can decide to go to a place that is a bit open and one of these places is Two Rivers Mall and a Two River Mall is a wonderland. It's one of those places where your kids will go and access fantastic rides, quad bikes and there is this one which is major and the highlight of them all which is the Ferris Wheel. I don't know whether I have pronounced that right. If I haven't, I just read that it's called Ferris Wheel, just like a Kikuyu. But it's one fantastic ride where you're taken on the top and you're able to have an amazing view of the city and uh, the city surrounding. Then there are some other activities and they can help the kids to face their fears. So that one is at least controllable and it's a very exciting place to also visit. You can decide to go for nature walk. I love this because, like I mentioned earlier, my dad used to take me to such places. And uh, here in Nairobi, there is Karura Forest. And the forest have bike rides. You can just decide to walk. There is bird watching. There is just relaxing. It's a very nice place to walk with your child or to take your children. Then you can also decide to involve your kids in the kitchen. You can bake or you can cook a tasty meal and the kids will be very happy and they will have learned. Remember that if the new curriculum, they are also being taught to do such activities and also to take such responsibility. So you can also engage the kid in cooking activity or baking. Then there is gardening. There is a time that Ryan came with a question where he was required to know all the different kinds of plants that are found in a kitchen garden. So you can decide to go and take part in garden activities and uh, learn about the kitchen garden plants. You can also decide to have a lunch out. Children enjoy being taken for outing. They really enjoy and remember the time you guys sit down and just share a bowl of ice cream or pizza or anything that they love. That too is an activity that you can decide to do occasionally. So if your kids usually live in the urban areas, you can give them a chance to go and visit their up countries. At least have a chance to spend time with their pets, milk cows, be with the chickens or to slaughter those chicken they can have a chance to go to those forests they can have a chance to play in the muddy waters you know those outdoor games this one is not for everyone but at least if you have somewhere that you can take them to have a feel of the up country you can also do that family vacation nowadays people are embracing domestic tourism i have realized that going to a holiday it's not about the money you have you can save a little and you can manage to have a very nice holiday and your kids are going to remember it and in those vacations there are so many activities there are camel riding there are motorboats jet rides there is all sort of activities when you go and take your children to a vacation if you haven't saved you can start that one for next year or for april you don't have to go to Masai Mara to make you to take your children to see wild animals. We have one here at Nairobi National Park, mm -hmm. and there it is very cheap for a domestic tourist to enter. The entry fee for a domestic tourist is very cheap, and you can go there and you have a game drive and see animals. And the kids are going to come back and write a composition about those animals. Such a wonderful and exciting activity. Then there is also giving them time to have that Kindle and the tablet and to play those games. It's holiday. They have been in school cramming 
mathematics and doing all these projects and waking up early and sacrificing TV so you can let the children watch TV. If you manage, pay for those packages that have cartoon networks, Disney World, Jim Jam, allow them to relax. It's their way of relaxing. You don't go to school for all those years and when the holiday come, you still deny them. So just allow the kids to watch TV, to play some computer games. All of what you need to do is to control and make sure that you're monitoring everything that they are doing online. Then don't forget the school holiday homework. I admit that most of the time when I spent the holiday with Ryan, we always find ourselves doing the homework at the last minute. We work under pressure. And that will actually beat the purpose of the school holiday homework. But this time I have purposed and I have decided that I'm going to make sure that he does that work little by little over the two months. So also make sure that you don't forget school work. So I think if you combine all those exciting ideas, you're going to have a memorable holiday for you and for your kids. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless you.